In this video, I'll be showing how you can add scars and other elements to a metahuman head. First off, you'll need to go to the metahuman face folder and export each of the four base color textures. I'm exporting as PNG, which requires getting the free PNG export plugin from the marketplace and enabling it. In Photoshop, open up the main face base color texture and start adding things. In this case, I'm adding a couple of layers of scar with opacity brought down a bit so they blend. And also for this one, since it's a Sisters of Battle, I'm adding a Fleur de Lis. Once you have everything in the right place, you'll want to add them to the remaining three face based textures. And they'll need to be in the same place. So after copying, make sure you do shift paste so they end up in the same location. Save each of those as PNG files and then go back to Unreal and open up the face base color texture. Scroll down to source file and navigate to the new version. Press re-import and now you have the new elements showing up on the MetaHuman. Anytime you change that file now, all you have to do is click re-import again and it'll automatically update. Now do the same for the remaining three new versions. So it looks pretty good, but it's lacking some depth. So what we need to do next is alter the normal files. Those are in a different place and you might have to look in the material section to figure out exactly where. This time you'll want to export as TGA, as the normals don't export properly as PNG. They come out kind of pink. Open up the TGA file. Now you could manually create some depth lines in the area where the elements are, but I'm going to use a quicker, easier method. Go back to your face base image, copy it and paste it into a new file. Go to Filter, 3D, Generate Normal Map. I'll wait a few seconds. And I want to keep the original normal map aside from the additions. The new normal will be smaller, so you'll have to get the size information from the old normal and change the new one to match. So copy and paste the new normal map onto the original. Create a mask. And then just draw in the areas you want. In this case, the scar and fleur de -lis. Do this for the remaining three normal files and save each of them as PNG. Now open up each one as we did with the face base color and again navigate to the new versions and re-import. Now we have the scar and fleur de -lis with some depth and that's about it. If you have any questions let me know and thanks for watching.